Welcome students. I had a few questions regarding the study guide and how to fill it out. So I just want to make a quick video to show you how to do that. Uh, the top suggests uh, what the test is going to look like. So there's going to be about 40 to 50 multiple choice questions and matching. Uh, then you'll have a couple of opportunities to write a free response question. And so that's generally um, about four sentences long for a paragraph. Uh, to answer a complete question. Uh, this is mandatory. It is due Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on the class, uh, for credit. And the test will be Thursday or Friday. Uh, the vocabulary is a little bit easier because it gives a term and you just need to put down the definition. Uh, the notes section, I think, was the challenging part because um, really what you need to do is to look at your notes it goes chronologically, so uh, civilization will be at the beginning of your notes, and then Aristotle will be at the end of your notes. Um, and so basically what you need to do is go over to your notes, uh, for example right here, uh, where it says civilization is shared heritage, traditions, values. I would write that down, okay? That's what you write down for civilization. And then under Western, uh, you should write down uh, these major points, independence, freedom, entrepreneurship, capitalism, competition. Uh, under Eastern, the same thing. Uh, when you get to uh, things like Athens builds first democracy, um, and then it has subpoints, you should look at education and logic. So you should know that Athens is the key right there, uh, first democracy, but logic is, or under education, you should put down that uh, was key for democracy. Okay, And then under logic, public speaking, you should put down that uh, it was to prepare them for debating issues. So that's how you fill that out. Spartan values, you would put down the uh, three right here, duty, strength, discipline. That's what you'd put down for Spartan values. You don't need to write down complete, um, overly thorough um, answers uh, because there's kind of an overdoing it where you put too many uh, trees in the forest, so to speak, that you get lost. However, you should put enough information that it really makes you uh, start to understand. What was the cause? What caused creativity and leadership in Athens? Then you would go to um, that uh, that one on Athens right here, where it's the uh, creativity and such would be the Persian Wars or defeating Persia uh, would be an example of that. Uh, philosopher's belief of the universe. Then you would go to uh, the section about the philosophers right here. It was absolute and unchanging. So I hope that helps you out. If there's information that you don't have in your notes, uh, such as Philip II possibly, uh, then we will cover that on uh, our next class. Uh, but you should be able to fill out about maybe 80% of the study guide. Uh, other things you can ask questions or uh, maybe we haven't covered yet. So I hope that helps. Email me if you have any questions. Thank you.